Box plots and violin plots are a nice way of summarizing the distribution of a quantitative or continuous variable, but maybe you actually want to see the data directly, and dot plots are a way that allow you to do that. I'm beginning with the violin plots that I made using the iris data from the example set, and then I'm going to click on the analysis to open up the commands, and I'm going to come back down here to plots. I'm going to move this up, and what I'm going to do is simply add data. Now, a lot of times you don't want to have things stacked where you have more than one kind of plot on top of another. The violin and the data, it works kind of well because the violin's an empty shape, and here you have the data in there. Now, what this is, is every data point in the data set, there's 150 in this particular case, and they go from the lowest score up to the highest score. And you can see how they approximately match the density of the violin plot. Now, this is called a jittered chart, because really every dot should be exactly on a line here in the middle, but that makes it hard to tell how many there are in a particular place, because they might lay on top of one another. And so jittering is randomly spreading them out a little bit to the left or to the right, so they're not usually on top of each other, and it's a little easier to see the density of the distribution. I'll show you some others here. On the other hand, you have another choice. Instead of just jittering, if you're a nice and orderly person, you can also select stacked. And what stacked does, instead of distributing them out randomly, it puts them exactly where they need to go and arranges them out in mirror image patterns as you go up the chart. And so again, this will appeal to those of you who are very fastidious, but now you can see a little clearer the distribution of points at each value. And you can see really how the violin plot mimics that. I'm actually going to leave the violin plot on. Normally I would remove it because the two go together nicely. They don't compete. And then I'm going to come down here to where we have our same violin plots, but broken down by the species. I'm going to click on that to bring up that analysis. And then I'll click on data and I'll leave it at stacked. Now what's interesting is I said stacked, but that appears to be jittered. So I'm going to see if I can get his attention by switching back and forth from jittered to stacked to see if it changes anything. That was just a small glitch, but by going back and forth, we straightened it out. And now you can see how the data are arranged within each of the violin plots. And the height and the width of each of the violin plots now makes a little more sense. And so a dot plot of this kind, either jittered or probably stacked as a little easier to read, lets you see what's going into the box plots or into the violin plots, and lets you see the individual data points that are going to drive your analysis.